All right, minimum operations to convert all elements to zero. We're given the array nums of size n consisting of non-negative integers. Task is to make all of them zeros with this operation, selecting a segment and converting all the minimum non-negative integer to zero. Okay. We need to find the minimum number of operations required to do that. So if this is the example, then we are going to take the smallest segment that includes all the minimum non-negative integer for this current state of array. That is one in this case. So this is the smallest segment. So we can make this zero. It becomes three zero two zero. Right. Now in the now what we do is we take this segment and this segment separately and make it uh, zero zero using two different operations. So it's going to take three operations. Right. Now this example is uh, better because uh, here we see that this is the segment we are going to make it zero. We make it zero. We get this as the current array. Now the thing is, we can't just do this one operation and select the segment, right? Because in the question, it's not very apparent, but this example makes it clear. Because we can only choose segments which doesn't include zero. So it's going to take three different operations for th these three different tools to be zero. So this three and this one. Operation is going to take four operations, right? So now comes the approach, and the approach can be uh, discovered when we try to simulate the things said in the question, right? So we take a good example. So let's say we get something like uh, Something like this, right? Probably something smaller will be good. Something like this. All right. Now, what I'm going to do is going to choose this segment and make it right. Make it zero with operation one, right? Now this, we see that it causes the two to divide into segments because the, this is the next number that we are going to choose. This is one segment. This is another segment. This is another segment. So it's going to take three operations for this one, and it's going to become zero zero. Right now we see the three is divided into three different segments. It's going to take another three operations. Now it becomes all right. So in total seven operations is what we need. Now we see that we are just interested into segments. Right for one we start from one. Right. So this is the example. Again, now we see that this simulation is going to lead us to a new approach. We see that for one to be divided into segment. Right. So first thing is, let's make some conclusions from the simulation. We see that the operations. Is going to be incremented by one when the uh, element targeted or when when the targeted element by targeted element I mean the element that we are going to Convert to zero for that particular cycle. Like for this cycle, one was the target element. For this one, two. For this one, three. The target element is divided into segment. Right? When will 
this be divided into segment see we are going in this order 1 2 3 4 5 6 and so on and so forth because we start with the minimum non negative integer and we keep increasing gradually so we start from 1 so 1 is going to be divided by 0 2 is going to be divided by 1 or 0 3 is going to be divided by 2 3 or 2 1 and 0 right so we see that 1 is going to be divided by 0 we don't have a 0 here if I go beyond we don't have a 0 so this is going to be one operation right suppose I had a 0 then for 1 I iterate I see that there is no uh, next element that is going to be dividing into segment for this one for this one yes there is one element that's going to divide this into segment so yes this is going to take one operation i can implement my operation here and then move forward right so next minimum element is going to help us here what if i calculate the next minimum for all the elements so i can do that using monoconic stack so for two the next minimum element will be one for one the next minimum element for this particular one the next minimum element will be just one why because i want to find the next minimum element that's going to divide it into segment right if there is none uh, if there is one that is going to be equivalent to this then i going i'm going to consider that as it is because that one is going to give me something else say right? that one is going to give me a zero so for this one it's going to be it's going to be non strict next minimum right for this one it's going to be a zero for this one it's going to be so we found a zero right so zero is not going to hamper us or it shouldn't be included into our answer so we can't just uh, consider this zero right so whenever we get a zero we don't increment my answer right because we know that there is none and it's uh, it shouldn't affect my answer right so we i should put a cross here in the code we are going to handle this so for two we see the next minimum is two next minimum for this is two this is one this is one this is one this is one this is nothing this is nothing right so monotonic stack how are we going to find the operations right so operations should be increment it only when the next minimum is less than the current element right it can't be equal it should be less than so we start this is going to be one operation zero this is going to be one operation this shouldn't be a operation so for zero it should be skipped or uh, not really skipped but uh, it should be incremented in terms of operation we can't really skip this why because it's going to affect other groups but it shouldn't affect our operations so this is going to be zero this is one this is one this is one this is zero this is one this is one this is one okay so three three six seven eight eight operations because from this example i included a zero that's why eight operations right so now comes the uh question how are we going to form this monotonic this is straightforward so i basically start from the end I see that the 
stack is empty so for this before pushing 3 I see the stack is empty so I get a dash here which is nothing so now I move I push 3 inside I move I see a 1 came for 1 the next minimum should be smaller than 3 so 3 is invalid so I am going to pop this 3 I am going to push 1 it's going to be this before pushing I see that the stack was empty right so for this one I get a MTR so as at this point itself I am going to increment my answer right accordingly so this is how we are going to do it technically we can also you know clear uh, or clean our code by introducing a negative element or a very small element that's going not going to affect our answer in this case a negative element makes sense negative one so that we don't have to or keep checking if the stack is empty or not stack will never be empty okay so let's do it this will be o of n time and space so stack is going to be pushed with a single element a negative one our answer will be initialized. I am going to start from here. Well, actually, I am going to start from the end. So, while i is greater than or equal to 0, I am going to go back. But before that, I am going to pop all the invalid elements from that specifically the ones which are larger than the current element so while stack is empty I don't need to check that no. uh, so I just need to check if the stack top is value greater then I can pop it if now I can increment my answer right increment operations only if the top of the stack is not a zero and the top of the stack is a value smaller the right? top of the stack is the next minimum if, if it is smaller than the current element only then they are going to increment so I can just do something like st dot top is less than nums of i but only if the top of the stack is not a zero if it's not a zero only then do that st dot pop sorry no, not pop now we can push the unit Let's see if this works. Okay, my bad. Okay, there's some problem. Let's see, uh, a zero. So if we have something like a zero coming into picture. this is going to be not popping anything it's going to check if this uh, yeah so if the current element is not a negative now value sorry my bad so if nums of i is not equal to a zero only then right now let's see yeah this does work Let's submit this time complexity is of n space and uh, time and yeah this works thanks.